The Indian Space Research Organisation is ready to return to the launch pad on October 21st with the first test vehicle flight of India's maiden human spaceflight program, Gaganyaan. The mission is all set to launch in 2025, two years from now. But during this period, it has to undergo around 20 major tests, including three uncrewed missions of the human-rated LVM Mark III. The first test vehicle flight, TVD-1, will take off from Sri Harikota at 8 a.m. on Saturday. The space agency will use an experimental rocket for the abort mission. This is basically a single-stage liquid rocket developed especially for the test flight. It will have two main payloads, a crew module and a crew escape system with fast-acting solid motors and interface adapters. The flight will simulate abort conditions during its ascent, corresponding to the speed of the final manned flight, which will be undertaken by India's heaviest launcher, LVM Mark III. After its takeoff from uh, Sri Harikota, both the crew escape system and the crew module will separate from the rocket at an altitude of about 17 kilometers. And once they separate, the abort sequence will be executed autonomously and deploy parachutes. If all goes well, it will culminate with the safe touchdown of the crew module in the Bay of Bengal, about 10 kilometers from Sri Harikota. A dedicated vessel and a diving team of the Indian Navy will then recover it from the sea. But why is this test important? It is just the first of the four test vehicle missions that ISRO has planned to demonstrate all the key functions. But it is significant since it is the first time that the space agency has integrated a near complete system of Gaganyaan for a flight test. Now, the success of this test flight will set the stage for the remaining qualification test and unmanned missions, leading to the first Gaganyaan mission with Indian astronauts on board in 2025. TVD-1 will evaluate the performance of the crew escape system and demonstrate if it is capable of safely aborting the mission as required. Now, what is this crew module? So, crew module is where the astronauts will remain during the human space flight. It is a pressurized unit with Earth-like atmospheric conditions. However, ISRO will use an unpressurized version of the module for the upcoming flight, but its overall size and mass will be equal to the dimensions finalized for the manned flight. Now, this module consists of all the systems for the deacceleration and the recovery, including a complete set of parachutes, recovery aids, and actuation systems and pyros. Scientists will also capture the flight data for further evaluation of the performance of various systems. Now, all the subsystems pertaining to this test flight have been realized and the integration is completed. The crew module has undergone multiple electrical testing at ISRO's facility in Bengaluru, including an acoustic test before it was dispatched to Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, in August. So, what next? Now, if TVD1 is successful on Saturday, ISRO will then start preparing for TVD2 early next year, followed by D3 as well as D4 for 2024 to test critical aspects of the mission. In addition, the team has also planned three uncrewed missions with robotic payloads to demonstrate the human safety of the mission before it gets ahead for the final flight. Now, India plans to send three astronauts into the low Earth orbit aboard its heaviest launcher, LVM Mark III. The mission will consist of a crew module which will act as a living quarter for the astronauts. The target is to position the module in a 400km circular orbit around Earth for one to three days and bring the astronauts safely back to Earth. It will be India's first ever attempt at a human space flight program. Remember, only three countries have successfully carried out human space flight programs. The Soviet Union, now Russia, the United States of America and China. Now, if India succeeds, it will become only the fourth country in the world to achieve that feat.